welcome to our mini tour of North Wales. In part one we check out Landegla Forest Trail Centre, go black grouse spotting and show you a lovely campsite to stay over nearby. Good evening! <laughs> From where are we? Uh, we are in Landegla Fishery and Cafe. It's got a little campsite and you can go fishing and stuff. It's really cute. Um, and we're about, I don't know, hop, skip and a jump from the centre of One Planet Adventure. Not the centre, you know, the centre of One Planet Adventure. Where we're planning on going tomorrow and checking out some of the trails. Um, so yeah, this is a nice little campsite actually. Um, not many spaces for big vans, but there's a couple of bigger vans than us probably seven meter vans and there's quite a few smaller vans as well i think it's about 20 quid a night including electric so there are some electric hookup um free wi-fi in the cafe down there as well which is quite good because there's no signal otherwise <laughs> um yeah so it's a good little find this we're quite excited Hi, we're at uh, Landegla Forest today, so I'm going to attempt to do the reds and the blacks. Okay, so we've gone to the uh, top of the first climb. Uh, it's about 35 minutes, about 5k, um, and we're going to head down here. Okay, so this is the first time I've been here. This is the first of the trails, it's the blue and the red. So a few pumpable sections and then we'll see ya. Uh, see where we break off for the red. Oh, so this is the break off for the red. Red and the black. So this is where the black breaks off through the dirt jumps. So let's see what these are like. Oh, I think that's it. So not epic, but good. Oh, got a bit of a drop off here. And that looks rideable, yeah, rollable. Should have hit it quicker. Got a little bit of air on that one. Pump it round. Still a few little uphill pedal sections. So let's check out the black. Typical Welsh, big slabby rocks. This is similar to a bite part Wales. Blue, which is what I thought it would be like. Trail grading is so uh, different in the different trail centres. So it's good to check out videos online just to make sure that you're happy going. Try this out. Oh, it's like a big drop off. Yeah. Let's 
so let's see what this is like. They all look like tables. Yeah. So no gap jump so far. need the speed just to get some air on these oh, little step down there fun little section oh little kicker Bit of a kicker gap. So, oh, looks like it's getting a bit spicy now. But everything's rollable. So far, so good. Oh. Plenty of speed for these ones. Oh. This is a fun little section. Okay, so we've got a black section here. We've got the double rock drop off. So I think I'll just carry on down the red. Got some great speed down here. Through the burns. There we go, this looks like the back of the visitor centre. There's the bike wash. Yeah, and then there it is. Right, and then we just go down the centre. 
and the car park back to the van. And there's Rene. Hello, hello, hello. Did you miss me? Oh, good boy. So day one, we both went out for a mountain bike. I went out and did the red with a few black sections. Halfway round, heard a massive crunch. I thought, oh, I wonder what that is. Get back down to clean my bike and the rear hub's broken. Um, so that's it. So tomorrow I've got to go up to the shop, see if they can fix it. If not, then we're going to go further into Wales and try and get it fixed at another bike shop. So this is uh, the site, Landagla Fishery and Campsite. Uh, there's one hard standing spot that we got on, which is there. Uh, and then the rest of the uh, camper van spots, the electric spots, are over here. Electric just down there. And then last night we stayed here um, and it looks like there's enough for four spaces over there and then obviously if you like fishing you've got all the fishing lakes and everything and there's a couple of really nice spots just on the bit of headland over there that you can see. yeah so these are the other two pictures um, you can see you've got enough for one van there and there with two electric hookups and then as you were uh, walk down past the two other trout lakes here and then you've got another one there and then you've got the main building over here with uh, the washing up and the chemical toilet waste and then a couple of loos uh, there's a cafe and there's also a coffee machine and a vending machine so the cafe normally closes at six but if you rock up after six you can uh, need a coffee or if you want a coffee first thing in the morning you can always uh, go to the vending machine and uh, there's a big car park and they sell cake in the cafe the cake looks amazing They also uh, have some glamping here it looks like so you've got this little glamping hut with its own little garden and everything which looks really cool can't really see it that's the sun yeah there you go it looks pretty awesome yeah, it's got its own barbecue and solar panelled so yeah so that looks really that'd be great in the summer so this is the other tent area and then you've got a couple of bell tents up there uh, some more glamping tents yeah we went on the hunt for the infamous black grouse apparently there's only uh, 450 male birds no mating couples in the UK so there's not that many and most of them live here oh, right. so they're quite um, we didn't see any though no. mainly because Rex just barked because <laughs> he was bored and wanted to carry on Moo um, Moo quite liked them didn't you quite like looking didn't you yeah you She's sleeping tired Maggie's tired she gone to bed Rex is tired too, with his poorly eye. Yeah. You're sleepy, Rex. No, oh dear. Arr, you pirate. You pirate. Give me pirate eye. Pirate. Arr, arr. In part two, we find a beautiful lake, meet up with an old friend, and attempt the Watkins Path. Thanks for watching, see you next time.